Welcome back to another episode of Underdeveloped. I'm currently sitting in the snow because my room is too messy <laughs> to film anything. So here I'm on my rooftop with beautiful Empire State Building in the back. I clear a little spot on the bench so I can sit here and talk to you guys about shooting expired film. With my dinner. Let's jump into how I personally like to shoot my rolls of expired film and here's my tips and tricks. <laughs> Number one, keep in the fridge. As soon as you bought it, keep in the fridge. Doesn't matter how it was being stored. Once you buy it, just in case your room is humid and hot and everything, put it in the fridge. And to stop whatever is happening in a chemical reaction, do it. And second tip, this goes to more than just shooting expired film, even just shooting a new film stock. Don't to important project on this film that you just picked up you never know what to expect for and as a photographer i wanted to know what i'm looking for what i'm looking forward to um, because the color shift is crazy and sometimes it might not even show up I have shot one row um, on a road trip to Vermont with my friends in the fall and it was so beautiful oh, so I thought I will bring an expired Kodak Go 200 because you know it's gonna be so pretty it came out nothing it's not really worth to scan because the exposure was so thin I was able to edit out some sort of things out of the very very minimum graphic on the film basically don't shoot expired film for something that's important. <laughs> Tip number three, take photos only in very, very direct sunlight. This kind of goes along with the next tip, which is treated as almost a black and white film, even when you're shooting expired color film. Because of the unpredictable uh, outcome from the film, you don't really know what's gonna come out or not. Instead of shooting something that you wanted to look into the detail, look for shapes. Find very distinct shapes and light. Take that one photo as a whole instead of tons of details because you're most likely not gonna get that. That's one of the biggest tips that I could give. The next tip from me is also about lighting. I have shot a few rolls of expired film with flash and often it um, doesn't come out as I want it. I don't know if it's just because it's usually from my in-camera point of shoot and it's too small, it's not powerful enough. When I shoot with flash, the picture has this almost a layer of mist or fogginess. Therefore, I learned my lesson and I don't like to shoot with flash when using expired film. Like I said, I usually have a point and shoot with me when I load expired film. It's because I like to use plastic lens. <laughs> it's very controversial. I don't think I've ever heard people talking about they like plastic lens over glass lens. 
but this is just my own personal preference because i don't know um you're already shooting expired film you're not gonna get the best result uh in terms of like colors and uh, details and sharpness and why not just enhance that why not just add more to that by using a soft lens Last tip, it's so dark <laughs> and this lighting is all over the place. Okay, as I put in my note, think abstract and make art. I know as a photographer myself, sometimes you get so caught up of doing gigs and you always want to make it good than make it personal and abstract and have fun in it. So when I shoot expired film, I use it as if I'm exploring all the possibilities and Look for something that's unique and um, personal and inspiring for myself and myself alone. There is something so special and magical about when you don't have expectation. I mean, just like film in general, it's more about the process than what you're getting at the end. The end result is just a nice bonus gift. Before we end this video, I do want to tell you where you can get some expired film. So most common place will be eBay. That's always a good place to look into. I personally like to check out thrift stores, antique stores, and flea markets. A pro tip of where to look, camera bags. I will often find some unshot rolls in those bags and I ask the owner if they will sell this for any money and usually they will just say a dollar or two, you can have them all. That's the most common place that I buy expired film. So these are my tips and tricks on how I personally shoot expired film. I hope this video helped you in some way and I hope I could encourage you and inspire you to take more film photos and just photos in general. So I guess I'll see you next time sooner or later. Well, I will see you soon on Instagram. Anyways, bye! <laughs>